Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lily and today I'm going over the changes that were made in patch 7.6. I am not going to explain all the changes, so if you want, you can read up on the patch notes which I linked down below. So one of the biggest changes they made inside the game is the auto-hunt function. Basically, this is a bot program that allows you to automatically use skills to kill and loot mobs. There is also a possibility to use combat experience extractors while you are AFK farming, so you can get insignia of experience as well, which can be nice. I know this sounds really overpowered, but when I left my bot on to hunt during the night, it usually uses between 2 to 4 extractors. Of course, it all depends on where you farm. However, the places where you can get more experience are usually al already overrun by bots, or the opposite faction comes there to kill you. They also decrease the drop rates of Titan Coins and Titan Coin Fragments, so I auto-hunt usually during the night. I get around 1000 to 1200 per night. Now I am a lazy player, and I don't want to click 120 times to make Titan Coins, but luckily there is now a Shugo where you can exchange all the fragments at once. Just hold Ctrl and right-click on the fragments, like you would buy multiple items at once in a shop, and you can enter the amount of Titan Coins you want to exchange. Skill changes have also been implemented, but since I don't want to make this video super long, I will provide a link where you can see the skill changes for your respective class. Another change is the Luckbuck rewards. They made it easier to complete the weekly and some of the rewards are looking pretty good. You can for example get a lot of Odium fragments if you complete the weekly Stella Brawler's quest. Siege times have also been adjusted. Now we will have Galkmaris and Ingesen together with the Catalan sieges on Sunday and Tuesday, while on Thursday it is only Catalan siege. They compensated for these days by giving us more reward in terms of legendary PvP stones, but don't be fooled. If we kept the same amount of days as before, you would get the same amount. They just concentrated it more into those two days. They also changed the honor point rewards, where you get more honor points by hitting the Guardian and less when you PvP. For more detail on this, I'd like to refer to the patch notes, but the most important thing to remember is that they overall reduce the amount of honor points you get. We also got two new ultimate transformations, and if I have to be honest here, they are looking hot. We got Ereshkigal for PvP and Tiamat for PvE. Some accessories became re-rollable, and if they were at first not re-rollable, and they became re-rollable, the tooltip will display some question marks the first time you try to re-identify them. You can also buy legendary and ultimate PvP stones now from the Battlefield Coin Trader, and you can also buy stigma enchantment stones with the coins you get in the easy instances. So these were the most important changes in 7.6 in my opinion. For a complete overview, you can check out the patch notes, which I provided a link for down below. I hope this video was helpful to you, and if you have any questions, just put them down below and I will do my best to answer them. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!